Hi, my name's Isabel Robinson. I'm the P&G Program Coordinator from the Anglican Board of Mission in Sydney. Um, currently I'm in Melbourne with my colleague from the Anglican Church of Papua New Guinea, Betty Garley, and she's the coordinator of the Church Partnership Program over in, um, in Lay in P&G. Um, the Church Partnership Program is an arrangement between AusAid, um, the seven, seven main churches of P&G, and those churches each partnering with their Australian NGO partner in Australia, so ABM partners with the Anglican Church of P&G. And the program aims to um, channel funding and capacity building into those seven churches so that they are able to better meet the needs of people in the rural and remote areas where often the church is the main presence and there's not much government presence. The CPP program uh, under the Anglican Church, they, we implement five programs, institutional strengthening, HIV AIDS, gender, community development and adult literacy. I'd like to see more in the area of literacy because most of our people are illiterate and more in terms of community development, sustainable livelihood, getting the community to be able to do small projects that can sustain their livelihood. From the reports that I received from the program managers, from the field officers to the program managers and to me, um, stories like um, people not able to read medical prescriptions or price tags of food in the shops, like things that we take for granted. And then we see that other people know and learn how to, to read and it, it makes me feel happy. Yeah. And uh, stories of um, ladies, mothers and girls having to walk long distance to, just to get clean water. And then when there's a water tank installed in their community and they just, it's just at the doorstep and they are able to fetch water instead of walking far or climbing the mountain. It makes, you, it makes you feel good. The most impact story about our CPP program is about a young lady by the name of Anita. Anita was enrolled in our adult literacy program where she underwent training and she was able to read and write. And then from there, she didn't stop there. She went on to enroll in a Simbai vocational center where she was able to learn to cook, sew, bake, and then now she is uh, doing her small things, cooking and selling, baking, sewing clothes. And she's a small uh, businesswoman in her own right. Yeah, so that's a good example of what the literacy program did for her. I think it's a, it's a really good partnership and it's, it's capacity building between the two churches. There are some things that the ACPNG might be good at, local knowledge and these things, but there are some things in terms of financial and all this that, that the ACP may not, not be really good in that we can learn from our partner church in Australia. So it's kind of like give and take.